What's going on, guys? It can be 5679. And can you? I don't know. You have to find out right now. But we're going to start the stream off with uh, I just want to give a shout out to Expanding. Hold on, let me get their page up real quick. Expanding the kingdom, kingdom, Bob and Jackie, okay? If you, uh, you want to go check them out, go subscribe to their channel right there. They're, uh, they're in the stream every night. Um, I, I need to remember when I'm done with this to put a link in the description. So I, hopefully I do that, but I don't want to say I do because I always forget to put links in the description. And stuff is just crazy right now. You know, a lot of people might be like, Oh man, it's so easy. Or what are you slow? Or blah, 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 blah. Well, understand, life is chaotic, and when you have a chaotic life, you forget things easily. And I apologize when I do, but this, I'm not gonna forget. Now, um, just understand one thing: one who finds himself in chaos will find himself in chaos. Let's begin with the prayer. Bless everyone, and we'll take a moment to uh, pray. Heavenly Father, Yahuwah, we come to you in the name of Jesus, the name above all names, the only name given whereby men and women must be saved. And Father, we just want to thank you for, over these last many days, for protecting us, keeping us safe, and answering so many prayers for us, Don't do and providing it, for us uh, so many things, Lord, that if, if, the, if we were in a different time, we might look at these days as the best of times. So we thank you, God, for all that you do for us. Thank you for the gift of life, for the opportunity to have salvation. So, Father, we as we go forth to proclaim the great news of your Son and how to be saved, we ask, God, that you would guide our hearts and minds, that our words would just glorify uh, your Son, Jesus. And we ask, God, for your godly wisdom. We ask your Holy Spirit protection around us and any of those who are listening or in the chat, and for those who will come in the future days and hear this. So we ask God you protect the airwaves and the electronics, and we just ask, Lord, that the Holy Spirit would be here to guide uh, this whole message, Lord, and that you would uh, just give us that extra bit of wisdom that we can use right now. And uh, in this late hour, we're here to reach souls and to uh, uplift those who are already have come to know Jesus. Father, we thank you for this, and we believe in we give you a great, great praise and thanks uh, for answering this prayer. And we love you. We love you, Jesus. And we thank you. Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Be good, Moo Moo. My pit bull's down here. She's a barker, so I, I hope she barks at every noise. That's why I usually don't have her down here when I'm recording. Um, now, Bob and Jackie, I didn't know you guys actually had a channel, so I apologize. But I am subscribed now, so bam, bam. You guys want to go check out their channel, Expanding the Kingdom, Kingdom Bob and Jackie. You can find them on my channel. You can find them in the live streams. You can find them uh, over here if you can't find them in the link in the description moments after this video, but I will remember. Okay, now, can an inmate buy panties in jail? Well, let's start with this, okay? Or, uh... This fellow guy here, creep, creepy ass guy here. <laughs> I mean, like, dude, am I in the thing? Okay, that should have my little, I should be right here in the corner here. All right. This guy here, Jeffrey Epstein apparently bought woman's panties while in jail. What? Now, do you guys get when I tell you that this is becoming a distraction? When they start putting stuff like this mainstream, this dude is so mainstream right now. He's everywhere. He's all over the place. He's on uh, every outlet, every internet and TV outlet. is talking about Jeffrey Epstein every single day. You guys know when the mainstream does that, and I'm going to put out a video about, I'm telling you, just one of the next two videos today. Make sure you watch it. It'll be something about mainstream in the thumbnail or the title. Watch it. Now, that you know when the mainstream pushes something, Something ain't right there. You, you, you guys know this, okay? I don't think this dude is dead at all, okay? But just let's cover this. Jeffrey Epstein apparently bought women's panties while in jail. Now, this happened back in Florida's jail. Millionaire pedophile Jeffrey Epstein was able to buy two pairs of small 
woman panties from a jail shop while serving time for sex offenses, according to Bombshell New Documents. The convicted bought two pairs of size 5 female underwear for Palm Beach County Jail. Palm Beach. Shop in 2008 while he was serving time after shh, pending guilty to soliciting a minor for sex, according to jail logs. Now, that yes, this is very possible. You can none. Hold on, I'm not answering the question yet. This is possible. Can you get documents off your commissary sheet? Yes, I still have my commissary sheets right now. Everything, well, the ones I kept, everything I bought in jail while I was in prison, I can show you. It's like I have receipts. Okay, uh, you also used to be able to file your taxes like that. Your Missy, stop it. Um, I'm sorry, guys. You also used to be able to file taxes. I, you can't do it no more. Now, so this is possible. You can definitely get what this dude bought off commissary. Definitely. 100% documented. The tiny panties were the most disturbing... Were the most disturbing part of the... More than $2,000 of pedophiles spent while incarcerated for 13 months. Once again... See number 13. You see it everywhere nowadays. Everywhere. Okay. 13. They're, they're, they're trying to push this new order, order heavy. And this is part of it. No doubt this is part of it. All they're doing here is is basically getting people people familiar. <coughs> she can. <coughs> Mumu, stop it. Go ahead, girl. I'm ready if you're hungry. Okay. We got a lot of people over here right now. One second. Let me make sure they just close the door. Um, yeah, excuse me for that. We got a lot of people here right now. Um, now, like this new world order, I think it's part of it because they're getting people familiar with sex trafficking and basically grown men being with underage girls. They're making it familiar, even though they're trying to act like they're the good guys here talking about it and, it, and it's against the law and stuff. To me, they're just programming people to be more familiar with these pedophiles as if it's going to be okay one day you know what i mean you got the same dude that is implicated with jeffrey epstein dershowitz wanting statutory rape to be wanting the age of consent to be down to 15 years old epstein who killed himself in his manhattan cell earlier this month while facing fresh charges was able to buy the underwear because the stockade also holds items for female inmates the paper states Wait, he bought them in Manhattan too? But it would surely question as to why a convicted sex offender who wears sweatshirts ranging from XL, triple XL, why he would have that size. Yeah, we know that. Epstein was allowed to leave the prison store in a chauffeur-driven car, which took him in a downtown West Palm Beach. Yeah, no, this is only in West Palm. That's what I thought. This I read a different one up here. You guys can't see the tabs, but I read a, I read a different... Um, news outlet about this and they didn't say nothing about Manhattan this happened back in in his Florida jail okay but I got something about his Manhattan stuff too hold on he used he used that time to have sex with we, we young women okay because uh, he was out 12 hours a day six days a week in his 13 month bid that ain't jail he wasn't in jail okay this, you're not, work release ain't jail. That's like being in a halfway house. Just because he slept in jail at night, I, I don't care. He wasn't in jail. He didn't do time. Okay, that's not doing time, bro. When you do time, you don't leave. You don't get a chance to leave. As The day you leave that jail, your bid ends. The day you go back in, it starts back up. So he basically did 12-hour bids at a time. That's it. That's it. That's not jail. I'm trying to tell you, man. It's not jail. You, you, you. <laughs> The dudes upstate would laugh at this shit. You get what I'm saying? This dude wasn't in jail. Yeah, I mean, there's dudes doing 20 years, 40 years, never left. They laugh at this right here. Okay? They would, they would, they would kill to have an opportunity to go back home again. He used that time to have sex with young women. This dude's disgusting. The little time he spent inside jail, he would often have an unlocked cell door and almost unlimited access to a TV, according to the records, which showed him buying more than 800 cups of coffee. Now, see what I'm saying? That's not jail. Okay? This dude basically was getting favoritism because he was a pedophile, which means he's getting 
the, the reason he's getting favoritism is because all the people give him favoritism is pedophiles too, in my opinion. There's no facts behind this. It's all my opinion. Um, I'm really not interested in reading the rest of this because I already know the story. You guys know the story. Go up and down real slow if you want to read it. Now, let me read this first before I answer the question. Jeffrey Epstein spent time alone with young women in prison's attorney room. This just happened. This is in his Manhattan jail that he just died in. Yeah. Yeah. This dude had a girl visiting him, okay? A young girl visiting him. Um, Hold on, I'm going to show you the picture of her. I have it on the phone. That's what it was. I thought I had the tab up. Let me show you a picture of this chick. I, like, she's not underage. She's just a good-looking young girl. That's it. She's just younger. Younger than him because he's old creep. You know what I mean? Um, But, now, he was supposedly had 12 hours a day 12 hours a day in the attorney room by himself with a female this I don't even know why they're showing this picture actually this might not be her okay that's on the, that's the thumbnail of on bro bible see what I'm saying that's the thumbnail so I'm not even sure if that's her Maybe they might just be showing. They might just be showing that. I mean, you can't believe none of these people, man. But I'm I'm just giving you what what for my opinion off of what they're saying. You know what I mean? Now, the girl coming to visit him, they said she never had paperwork. She wasn't a lawyer. Okay, she might have been an associate though. This is possible. She could have been a, a paralegal. She could have been a bunch of things associated with a firm. That's very highly possible, but the thing is, is she went to basically get him out of his cell 12 hours a day, and they got locked in an attorney room where his cuffs get off, okay, there's not going to be no cameras or no recordings, you can't, That's it's attorney-client privilege, um, and the fact that he, they were visiting in an attorney room, she had to have some type of credentials with she had to be associated with a firm. You can't get a visit in the attorney room unless you are the uh, his attorney or the paralegal that's the only way you're going to get a convict in or he ain't a convict he's an inmate into a uh, room and jeffrey Epstein, if you're watching this you're a clown because i know you're out there somewhere you're a clown cuz you're a clown billionaires don't go to jail guys yeah highly likely clinton could have touched them i get it. It, it it's it's possible but i don't know nah, i think they got him out of there man i really do i think they got him out of there and I don't think he's in witness protection, because if he was, that would mean he gave information. That would be mean a bunch of people are going to go to jail, right? No one's going to go to jail, though. This has become a distraction. But I decided to, um, I had an extra couple minutes, so I want to make this video. Because, here's the thing. This, right here. Alright? <laughs> yes, you can do this. You can be a grown man. And order lipstick, panties, eyeliner, brawls, <laughs> you name it. And a uh, homosexual inmate can claim it. Okay, because they can... Some jails will ban them from doing this. But here's the thing. In county jail, there's females in the same jail. Excuse me. In the county jail, females in the same jail. In prison, okay, females aren't in the same jail, but they're on the same commissary so commissary is like a it canteen is basically a business outside of jail you know what i mean they ship it in so when they ship out your commissary orders these people don't really know they're not paying attention where it's going and stuff so an inmate could do it um like i said some jails at commissary they might not let you have it most jails will okay yes 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 an inmate can order panties now here is the catch Say I got his DOC number, his full name, all right, that's all I need, his DOC number and his full name. I can literally make a commissary sheet for this dude, and I can order him panties. So we used to do this in jail, all right, especially in the county jail because you're with people from your neighborhood. You, you, you see more people that you know. In prison, you're basically by yourself. But 
in the county jail, we used to bid off people, right? So say it's about to be commissary day, we would fill out a sheet and we would order one of our boys, we'd add, add some bra and panties onto his list. So then the commissary dude would come up, commissary lady, and they would hand him his bag in front of everybody, right? And then everyone sees him get a bra, some lipstick. And you know what I mean? Everyone starts laughing at him. It, it, was, it was like a funny joke. But some dudes really do do this. I actually seen a dude commit suicide because he did, he tried, attempted to commit suicide. Dude cut his uh, vein on his leg, that that main vein on your thigh, inner thigh. He cut himself right there and almost bled out, but they, they saved him. Now, what happened was, I don't know what he was thinking, because commissary at SCI Western in Pittsburgh, commissary there was a, a little room where we packed in like 30 people at a time, and they would call your name, and you would go up and get your bag, and they would just hand it to you, and you put it in one of them net bags I showed you before, just throw your stuff in a net bag, and then next thing you know, you know what I'm saying, let me just do this, next thing you know, you got your whole bag and you're walking out and you're all happy, you got your tobacco, you got everything you need, right? Well, thing is, is it's in front of everybody. So I'm not sure what this inmate thought. And this is when we were in TC, TC's therapeutic community. TC's where you go if you have like drug charges, whether it's drug dealing or drug using, any type of drug charges, you go to therapeutic community. And you have to do four months of this in order to parole. If you don't do your four months, you're not going to parole. Um, and most people are sentenced with this as a stipulation of their sentence. And we were all in TC, so I'm not sure what this dude was thinking, why he thought he was going to be able to get around it and no one would see it. But everyone started laughing at him. And he started acting like he didn't order it. But the thing was is he was on that side of the fence, if you get what I'm saying. So it was kind of like not even surprising. But we never caught him ordering lipstick and, and eyeliner before, and that's what we caught him ordering. So everyone starts, oh, blah, 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 blah. Can't even talk about stuff like that no more. <laughs> My LGBTQ video of exposing that shit the other night got taken down. Taken down because of these little rats. These little rats on here. But, <laughs> like I said, if you find yourself in chaos, that's where you really find yourself. Chaos is where you find yourself, and you find yourself in chaos. So, anyway, dude ended up going and checking out. Checking out in prison means he committed suicide. But the thing is, is they saved him because they found him bleeding out in the cell. Um, I don't even remember his name, man, honestly. But, anyway, uh, yeah, so, yeah, the answer is yeah. An inmate can order panties, lipsticks, bras, and jail. A male inmate can do it, at least in Pennsylvania. One love, guys. Iggy and B5679. More coming soon.